All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for another edition of Grixis Discard. Uh, we've been having a lot of success with this uh, recently, the last few times we've played it. So let's uh, run it back and see if we can, um, you know, have the same kind of success that we have been. So this has been my most played deck here within the last week to 10 days um, because it has been just a lot of uh, good, interesting games and uh, I've had a lot of success. So that's about all to say about the deck. Don't really need to go through everything about it yet again because uh, we have played it so much. So let's just kind of get going and get to some games and see how it goes. Let's see if we can empty our opponent's hands with these uh, disinformation campaigns and thought erasures and nickel bolus, duress, angrath. A lot of ways to get these cards out of our opponent's hand. Let's get the again the Orzov Aristocrats deck up on YouTube as well. We will play first. We are lucky. I will keep. Looks like um, looks like Arena could use a reset. It's getting a little laggy. Um, so I probably should have reset right before we. Started this uh, video, but we'll probably do that after this match. Um, Alright, so Thought Erasuring first gives us more information about what our opponent is doing whenever we want to Discovery. Um, so, Belhaunt and Teferi are the, are the two options. Um, Belhaunt makes us discard, which is annoying. But I'm just going to take the Teferi just in case we don't have the ability to get rid of it later. No, the, the four Ritual Sits are, are really important in the deck. Um, because whenever you're playing Thought Erasures, Discoveries, and Disinformation Campaigns early on in the game, you're going to be behind on the battlefield quite often. Um, because your opponent's going to be playing creatures while you're, while you're playing all these things that aren't removal, aren't creatures... And so you really need the Ritual of Soots to catch up. And especially against a deck like Sultai, uh, Ritual of Soots is really a necessity. Uh, no idea why our opponent used a, a Shock Land there. It was not necessary. So you said you think the deck is too passive. Why is that a well, why is that a bad thing? And uh, what would like how would you make it a, a deck not as passive? That was kind of a tough call there. Um, I mean, I, I do like the... I, I like the velocity that Discovery provides throughout the deck, but it was going to be our seventh card to be able to just uh, take over and, and make sure we flip Ascanta before our opponent could draw a Mortify. What is our opponent doing? They have like an Esper mid-range. So how, how heavy into Duress and Negate do I want to move against our opponent? And how far away from Ritual of Soot? 
Because they could certainly be, um, from what we've seen, they could certainly, like, it seems like our opponent's hero, Precinct 1, Thief of Sanity, uh, that kind of stuff. So I don't think I want to actually move away from Ritual of Soot. I am absolutely not playing Thief of Sanity in this matchup against those cards and against they'll likely have hostage taker and stuff like that. I think I, I think that staying ritual of soot and staying control is the best thing to be doing. The big question is this duress in my opinion. If I want to take that out for like a negate or anything like that. I, I kinda like cry the Carnarium honestly on the draw. Hey we have a sign up with Quip. We have DH fifty supporting with Quip. Thank you so much, DA50. You are really going to enjoy that uh, toothbrush. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to get these cries in here and take the duress out. So that is our eighth person to sign up for Quip. So we are two away now from doing a 12-hour stream to celebrate getting to 10 there. Uh, DH50, for signing up for Quip, you do get a free donation deck. So if you have a uh, a deck that you would like me to play on stream, let me know. All right, I need to find removal. I think they're going to be a lot more creature-heavy um, than a lot of y'all are thinking here. Like, assuming they're Hero Precinct 1, uh, and, and Thief of Sanity. Those are, those are definitely scary cards that take over. And so that's why I wanted, like, these Cry of the Carnariums and stuff like that. And, and didn't go towards Negate and Duress, because I don't want to just have, I don't want to be sitting on Duresses and Negates and my opponent have Thief of Sanities and stuff like that. So Lazav is, is a problem as well because Lazav turns into Thief of Sanity. So let's go Bolas then. So the so that I have a blocker. I mean, you know, I would have rather I would have I would have certainly rather played Search Riskanta and Thought Erasure, but I want to make sure to have a blocker. All right, hopefully we get this land where I can play Angrath and uh, Minus and take the Lazav. Nope. So even though Thief can hit us once, it does kind of tap him out to play the Thief. Um, and then I can cry the Carnarium and, and exile the Thief. Where are we at here? Six. Just graveyard. You're just fuel for the fires of freedom, Kerr. All right, there we go. Want to know? Having all the removal looked pretty good there. All right, gonna do this quick reset. Yeah, this is pretty laggy. I should have done this right before, uh, but that's okay. Yeah, they they did. Thief does let us transform the Escanta real quick. That is true. <laughs> I 
Uh, I'm not sure why our opponent conceded, but I guess they were, you know, they didn't like their spot against a, a flipped ass Kanta and everything. And how I how I took the negate instead of the deputy of detention with my thought erasure, that is suggesting to my opponent that I have removal for deputy of detention. We'll see about this hand. Uh, we do have just a, a lot of it kind of expensive one-for-one -one removal. It's not necessarily um, a wonderful starting point. I wouldn't mind the discovery finding some card advantage engines like Search for Escanta or uh, even basically either of our enchantments. All right, getting rid of those. Angrath would, wouldn't be bad either. Yeah, because we were hitting them with Thief, so we were getting a free card as well. Good point. All right, we need Angrath or Search Roscanta, something like that. Disinformation campaign would be perfectly fine. Take that one as well. They just stuck on lands. Hmm. <clears throat> I guess I just give them the mana. I don't think I can. I don't have the resources to just try to to try to uh, take out their their mana sources right now, and also have answers to other things. So, especially for how um, premium these removal spells are, I am just going to be passing the turn. Yeah, we're not good against Carnage Tyrant, absolutely. So, uh, attacking with the Land War Elves here tells me that they want to use the Incubation Druid. You know, let's just kill this Druid. Druid is a a problematic card anyway, how it comes into a 3-5. I think our opponent probably wanted to... Oh, they just had Jade Light? Oh, right. They wouldn't even attack with the O2 anyway. That was just a, that was just a bad play. That was just... Never mind. That was just a bad play to use the Bedevil there. Main deck negate. You don't see that very often. That's going to kill us. So now even if I find, like, Angrath or... Like, honestly, I, I wouldn't mind this getting negated because I want to find... Um, you know, like, Search for Escanta, for example. I do not want Escanta to get negated. Carnage Siren... Uh, things to do against Carnage Tyrant is we make them discard it. Um, when it's on the battlefield, we can have Dispersal. Uh, we can have a flipped Nickel Bolas get other things that can block it. That's about it. Hmm. That Bedevil was just a bad play by me. I was thinking like that they were gonna be playing Vivian or that was just that was a bad play by me. Should have saved that. So 
Tip. Krasis is just going to be a 4 4 also. It's not really a difference in size between Krasis and Jade Light Ranger for us. I guess Krasis could be a 5 5 if they draw a land here. I think we're, you know, losing this and going to the next game. But we'll see. It's kind of seeing if they had a, a Vivian. Because um, we really cannot be Vivian. For my freedom. <laughs> now, unfortunately, Ankrath, whenever you're really far behind, isn't so good. Um, it's a whole lot better when you're when you're not super far behind. Uh, there's the Ascanta. When you're not super far behind with this deck, whenever we have Ritual of Sit. <clears throat> That's why we're playing four Ritual of Sits. It's an important card for us. It's a very important card for us. I've weathered tougher storms than you. Or we have like the the you know thought erasures and cam campaigns early to kinda check their hand and stuff too. Oh, they did have Vivian. The balance I'm not balance. beating Vivian. I could maybe beat the rest of the cards. I can't beat Vivian at all. Not after already using Two Contempts and Bedevil. And all that kind of stuff. It's not a game not a game one we really want to lose. Our hand was just like really weird. Of just lands Bedevil Contempt. None of, none of our best cards in that matchup of, you know, like, we, we really need Surge, Thought Erasure, Campaign, Ritual of Set, that kind of stuff. Anyway, um, the big thing is whether I want to play Duress or Negate. Um, I have this, this one of. Um, the games go really long. I think I like the negate for like a top deck to Vivian or um, or find later on. Yeah, that's that's the problem with not having Ritual of Soot is we had to use Planeswalker removal on non Planeswalkers. Yeah, Thief's just bad against everything. Here, like it's it's not a card we want. Our, our game plan is, of course, Ritual of Sit and disrupt their hand and win in the very late game, and Thief of Sandy does not help our game plan um, at all. Man, I would like this if we had a, on a land. I just can't keep it, though. All right, Escanta, help us out. We need to find some campaigns. Get on the campaign trail. I 
My card's important. Graveyard. Um. Coil is nice. Yeah, I should keep it. I should keep it. Uh, Coil is pretty important in this matchup, like the Exile, as we saw that last game with Find Finality, um, getting creatures back and everything. Um, we also saw them play Midnight Reaper, which is not you know, necessarily real popular. But it, you know, if, they, if they're playing Mid Midnight Reaper, I should have Lava Coil. card I wanted to see. Get those out of here. Especially slowing down this land where elf is nice. So they're not going to be able to Vivian kill the search for Escanta. If I activate as Cancer right now, I could find Thought Erasure. Yeah, let's do that. Which Thought Erasure could take a potential Vivian. Hey, Mad Every Mike. Fight makes Thanks for a resub in there. With Twitch Prime. That was worst case scenario. Certainly. Not only Vivian, but then Vivian and Carnage Tyrant. You're just few. No fire, no steel. Worst case scenario. Meet. My newest friend. As I've mentioned before, my deck is really bad against Carnage Tyrant, but you just don't see very many Carnage Tyrants around these days. Um, and so I don't really mind that my deck is really bad against Carnage Tyrant for, in that respect. A little late there, campaign. A little late. No fire, no steel. Uh, I really wanted to hit the land and be able to play Nicol Bolas. Because Nicol Bolas, even if it would force the Vivian to minus, it wouldn't no be like where Vivian's going to ultimate like this I next do. turn. I don't think Eldritch Reborn's a good card. I mean, it's sure it's good when your opponent has a Carnage Tyrant on the battlefield. Um, or like a Vivian, like this specific game, yes, Elder Reborn would have been good, but I think this this game is an anomaly of like a, a no, what a normal game looks like. It's just it's just not a very good card. Too many times you'd have like Elder Reborn right now, where they like sack with their Branch Walker and the Vivian kills it and that kind of stuff. Um. I'm going to deal with the Vivian ultimate. I just think there's there's better options than Eldest Reborn. It's very expensive. Um, and with a lot of Mortifies and Vivian and everything, it's just it's a pretty expensive card. Eldest is 
Eldest is the best whenever you are, it's a lot better when you're more proactive. Um, and you can kind of be like ahead and your, your opponent's like on the back toes and you play an Eldest Reborn and it's a lot better there. Then whenever you're just trying to survive and your opponent's playing other things and you have a five mana, make them sacrifice a creature or planeswalker. It's not, not a good enough effect in, uh, in that respect. So, um, so depending on the deck, you know, it could be a lot better basically is what I'm saying, but I don't want it in this deck. This would have been like a, a lot better hand against Sultai, you know, like where you can start clearing off. Cause like the campaigns, they play a, a really crucial role against Sultai, which we, we didn't get to do either of those games. Um, it makes it harder for them to, you know, it really does make it harder for them to hit their six lands and still have, like, the Carnage, you know, if they want to keep the Carnage Tyrant in hand, they usually have to discard lands, and it's it's hard for Sultai to play Carnage Tyrant um, against the campaign heavy hand. Obviously, this matchup, we have a lot of dead cards, um, so, you know, we're probably not winning this game one. Um... This is what our most of our sideboard is. Helps out here in this matchup. Last format, whenever Carnage Tyrant was a, was a lot more prevalent, I did have a, a um, detection tower. I have an Arch of Araska now because um, you know we don't don't have to deal with Carnage Tyrant nearly as much. Um, Um, but yeah, before I had a detection tower there and then also had the, had some, uh, star of extinctions in the sideboard because star, star of extinction is like the best answer to, uh, carnage tyrant. Um, get rid of these, get rid of these. Um, so it's basically like how much removal I want to play for Niv-Mizzet, if any at all. And I think I've had more success with like not playing removal for Niv-Mizzet. We'll see. All right, turn two erasure, turn turn three thief. We'll see how that does. Oh yeah, Phoenix. That was the card. I knew there was a reason why I kind of wanted Contempt instead of Bedevil. Rekindling Phoenix. That was the reason. That's why you know I initially had the Contempt and. Um, but then, so just eat in a gate later. Um, Thief, take this over. 
Please not draw removal for thief or lands. Dang, they drew lands. All right, I like the second search here because like the first search will get sinister sabotaged. Oh, I should probably do that first though. I should let them do their surveilling with sinister sabotage first before activating uh, thief. Um. Okay, so they're keeping this the sabotage. So they didn't get to surveil. That's a good card. I'll just eat the sinister sabotage. Um, yeah. Goose time. So our opponent didn't want me to find a... I think I do want the land, right? My opponent didn't want me to find, like, a counter spell, I guess. They really wanted to draw their cards. Um... Yeah, I wish this was Contempt. It'd be a lot better as Contempt there. Think I should copy the Duress? Nah, I can copy like a counter spell that gets cast. Entrancing Melody? I'm off the Ecos. Let's get these Contempts in here. Let's do that. So our, <clears throat> our Thought Erasure immediately taking the Search for Escanta. Uh, certainly the important thing there. Um, Reclamation is the card that I want to Ego away. That's a horrible looking hand. Really, deck? You gotta be like this. Deck, why did you do this? I want to take Ascanta again. I don't. I don't want them to have Ascanta immediately. All right, no Ascanta. Um, all right, so Sinister Sabotage will be the card then. <laughs> I 
Why do we have to draw a thief when they have a shivan fire? Can't we draw, you know, an answer to Phoenix instead? Phoenix is gonna hurt. Okay, okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. They could Shiv and Fire plus copy Shiv and Fire to, to kill Nicol Bolas. Or they could just, you know, have a fifth land and kick the Shiv and Fire. But they'd have to have a fifth land, of course. Next turn, we do get the Thief with Negate back up, which is nice. Lame. Good news, they're out of cards. Good news, hopefully they draw a land next turn. Um, that doesn't do anything, unfortunately. Whatever, just get out of here. <clears throat> no card for you. So, I am, that is like a waste of a negate, I know. Um... But I'm going to be aggressive here. Water like, I want to just use the negate and just get that out of there. I um, want to be aggressive here to get this hit with Thief of Sanity in. And find something really good. Niv Mizzet will count as that. And then, nice, they brick a turn. So now they have to attack Angrath. And now we get to hit him with Thief again. Damn your Ram a new course free. There we go. And then next turn we can start casting all this stuff like Grow Spiral and Discovery. We'll see if they cast some more spells. That was a pretty good one. I do want the land, and yeah, we'll take a Nicol Bolas as well. Um... Wait, can I just kill them? Maybe I should have dealt that one upstairs. Maybe I didn't need to actually kill that egg. Um, so what, this deals three? And then this deals two? Yeah, so we can do, we can do five, right? Or no, it only this one only deals two. It's not chart of course. I was thinking like chart of course for some reason. Oh well, I like drawing the negate. Yeah, that only draws deals two. This would deal two also. So well, we have the negate up. I like that. So you can fire opponent finds like finds like an explosion or something. I mean if they find a spell anyway, we get to grow spiral.
My opponent said good game. That's why I was saying good game if you missed that. All right. Got that win on the Mold of Five. We had the really, really timely top deck of the Nickel Bolas. That Nickel Bolas was nice to clear out a card from their hand, which ended up only just being a land, but then also eat the Shiv and... Or no, no, it, it took the Expansion Explosion from their hand. Yeah, they discarded Expansion. So yeah, they discarded Expansion and ate the, the Shiv and Fire, ate both of those. Um, and then our, our Thief was in there. I certainly had like that, um, that really early negate with the... the the thief on the battlefield there. Um, but I, I liked that play. Oh yeah, it definitely feels good to beat Reclamation decks, I agree. I actually think that that, I think that Teamer Reclamation deck is better than the Nexus Reclamation deck, I think. Could be wrong. I've been really impressed with that Teamer Reclamation deck. Um, I mean, they're, they're close. They're both good. As per control, kind of like the Nexus, this is usually pretty tough for us game one um, because we have, you know, so many dead removal spells. But it, again, like these are the, the decks that we're looking to beat post board with, you know, bringing in eight cards or ten cards or whatever. <laughs> Kitty Tail hits Todd for two damage. <laughs> okay, you want to come sit over here? Yeah. Opponent has no land drop? Oh, okay, they were that was our turn. So they're shocking in here for Chemistry's Insight, um, so making them use counter magic on Chemistry's Insight turn, not so bad. But of course that's what just about all we can do is just jam things. I could dispersal that, but let's let's clear their hand up a little more before we dispersal. Hope they don't have any gates. Um, dang it, I cannot do that in and Angrath. Um, man, I really don't want Angrath to get negated. I'll feel really silly if I if it does when I have Thought Erasure. Nah, that's not that bad. At least we'll we'll be able to protect the dispersal later. You, you just don't see a whole lot of negates. Here, in main deck. Want no fire, no steel. This is a different take on Esper here. A lot more enchantment heavy, which is not good for the. That's not a good this sign for the. This isn't a fight you can win. Um, you know what? I'm not done yet. Grixis player having a lot more enchantments. No fire, no steel. No bacon, no fruit loops. Wait, what? Yeah, uh if you want the the deck exclamation point deck <clears throat> if you want the deck list there. That should get get it to you. more malleable than people think. Hmm. 
Yeah, so dispersal would, would get... We will meet again. Dispersal only got to fairy there, and I wanted dispersal to get the binding. This is pretty tough, though. Um, so they just discard a card, discard a card. And get this binding back. Hmm. They have one too many cards. Oh, no, they don't have one too many cards. They discard three. No, this... Oh, I can't play my other bolus, though. I'm one mana short. I thought I had... I thought I had enough to be able to play the other bolus also. Yeah, still worth. Because they have to, like, spend their mana playing... The binding here, um, you know, it should help the Angrath resolve, unless that random card is, you know, counterspell. Uh, there has Kanto slipping either way. Well, my life could be going better. Life could be better. Hmm. Ton of Hope's not too scary. I mean, sure, it'll end the game, but really, it's as Kanta is the, the card that's ending the game. It's not really Ton of Hope. Like, I would rather them make a 1 1 than activate it as Kanta, for example. Um. I guess that does let them draw a card, though. They're tapping both their black mana sources. That's a little odd. Really seen any anything that this black man is going to be doing? Yeah, I guess I I, I think I I need to be more patient with the dispersal. We can sit here for a while, but this isn't going to end well for us. Did have negate. All right, we get all this stuff in. Do I actually? So ego is the thing that I'm not sure if I want. Um, do I actually want ego for to fairy, um, or not? Basically, um, we saw them win that last game without. To fairy, I could have ego for binding, honestly. But I have the contempt still, which I guess in this matchup, contempt or bedevil isn't really a difference. So I guess bedevil's better than contempt. Binding was a killer. You don't see a whole lot of bindings these days in Esper Control. All the tap lands. I do like having these campaigns. That was a... That's a good card. It's a good card advantage.
yeah, those are all really good good cards against uh, control. Meaty. So yeah, those that that sounds pretty good. <laughs> Which information campaign? This information campaign. <clears throat> Mono tap lands is pretty annoying. I only have two lands though. Go thief, go. Why did I take ego? Because it doesn't matter. What is what is the unmoored ego gonna do? The Essence Scatter actually counters one of my creatures. Wow. That's unfortunate. As you can tell, I wanted to play Bolas that turn, so I didn't just duress first. Um... They can run us out of win conditions, I suppose. We only have three actual win conditions between Thief of Sanity, Nicol Bolas, and Angrath. So I, I am not flush with a variety of win conditions. So between Unmoored Ego, Nixalon's Binding, um, they can do a big hurting on us. Hey, RBM. Thanks for the support. Alright, land deck. We need some lands. Can we have some of those? Here, I'll take your island. You can have an Angrath. Yeah, double detection tower. They're all about that detection tower life. The uh, Consitark here and Theros um, standard was my favorite. Hey, our jelly. Getting that in also. Alright, we need to look for mana. Those are manas. I will keep. Fortunately, our thief didn't get to hit anything better than, than um, anything better than seal away. <laughs> RVM. Again there. All right, we got uh, negated the Teferi. We are three and one. Y'all can see like the the last two matches, games two and three against these reclamation and control decks. Uh, we've really put a big hurt on them. 
Thanks, RBM. That's what happens when you have four duress, four negate, four thought erasure, four thief of sanity, four disinformation campaign. You know, four nickel bolus. Um, yeah, <laughs> you know, all that after after sideboarding. You just have to. Yeah. You are tough against enchantments, but you just gotta clear their hand of the enchantments before you start playing your threats. Is this better than five cards? All right, so we're on five opponents on six. Yeah, I wanted to keep that six. Yeah, I wanted it to work out, but just going with the safe part. Hey, Gatsby's getting on that hype also. Get this bit hype going on. Thanks, Gatsby. Gates can go over the top of us, um, for sure. Uh, so we'll see how this works. Hopefully they do not have... Okay, good. They, they're not going to have uh, the blue enchantment this turn. <clears throat> um, so I'm going to go kind of risky. Man, this is risky. Pizza Delivery Man. Getting that cheer in there also. Thanks, Pizza Delivery Man. So I kind of want to go Discovery, look for a land, play the land, Thought Erasure. Um, this is risky. If we don't have a land in the top three, it's really bad for us. But if we didn't have a land in the top three, we're probably not winning anyway. Wow. We don't even have a land in the top three. So this means that now if they do have the blue enchantment, I'm just kind of screwed. But I'm also just kind of screwed because we don't have any lands. Um... Like, because we had to get to Angrath. Like, Angrath is the key here. All right, well, no blue enchantment. That's good news. Double crisis? Ugh. Where's our lands? Or a 26 land deck. I certainly thought that they had a crisis. I wanted to be doing something about one of the crises. How this thing goes. Or like the crisis, but it turned out they had two. Oh, sure, just get more crises. Like that's beatable. Like that's even remotely beatable. I'll contempt this Vivian later, I suppose. Yeah, her chances are none. I've seen things that would break someone like you. We got pretty unfortunate with our mana situation there. After our mold of five, a discovery. Oh, can't you make a seven-seven crisis, opponent? Can't you just make it a 7-7, please? Never seen war your crew for my freedom? <laughs> a fair price. Oh, so it's going to be like that, huh? It's a tad too small. The I wanted a 7-7 so I could kill the Vivian. But it was only 6-6. Six, six. Alright, well, they have, they have blue enchantment now. Blue enchantment kills us.
That's a card I'm gonna need to contempt. No fire, no steel. Go, Angrath, go. You can't stop nature. Fage, you know we have sideboards, right? We've been losing game one against everybody, but we have sideboard. Saying, like, this is why Grixis Control doesn't work. I mean, we were also on a mold of five as well. And we're going to be adapting our deck here. You know, like, we won't just be playing all these ritual sets and stuff like that. But we're not... The match isn't over because we're losing this mold of five game. Is what I'm trying to say. No fire. No steel. Hmm. Um. Krasis isn't really that big of a problem. I don't. I don't think we need to ego Krasis. You know, it does draw a lot of cards, but so does the, the blue enchantment. Um, that 8-8 eight eight that keeps coming back is usually more of a problem. Just in, in general terms. I've weathered tougher storms than you. No one knows the wilds like I do. I have a lot of these 8-8s. Eight Beating these 8-8s post border is going to be a problem. And of course Vivian's just awesome like always. Uh, standard's like the, the format that I play these days. Um, I, you know, have played and can play all the other formats, but this is just the one that I that I play. The wilds um, are my shield. Nev miss it as well. So a whole bunch of Gate Colossuses and Niv Mizzet and Vivian. They want to beat control. That's gonna to be tough for us to deal with. I kinda of wanna ego those eight eights. The eight eights are gonna be really tough. I don't really want to ego. I don't really want to have ego. Hmm. 
going to cut campaigns. No, keeping two campaigns. Yeah, so so can can kill Krasis and Ram. Um, does take out our thief. Um, we're going to be uh, pretty fast here. They they have the late game. Um, with guild summon and everything. So that's why I'm kind of trimming on these campaigns. And I guess this is a keep. It's not really, you know, the Duress, Negate, Thought Erasure, Thief of Sanity. Those are the cards that I really want. And it's kind of, n n I mean, not really kind of, but it is just none of those. Um... But I guess turn three campaign, turn four bolus is okay. I mean, I like Thought Erasure too. I guess I'm going to go turn three Thought Erasure, turn four bolus. Um, Thought Erasure, like either one helps us hit that, that next land drop. Could certainly be negate. Could be a uh, growth spiral as well. Really hope we hit this fourth land drop because we are really relying on on bolus on four, um, like absolutely. So this is a really big draw step for us. Okay, we're still in it. Need this bolus to do some damage. Okay, um, now we have to be a little more careful, because if I if I bolus and they have another removal spell, then that's you know that's really really bad for us. So I think I'm gonna go with campaign now to try to protect the bolus and try to make them, you know, get rid of you know whatever answer they could have. So like you know have them have like zero to one card in hand before we play the bolus there. That's bad. I just can't deal with Guild Summit. It's the, the best card against me. Can't deal with that card. I can't have any patience now. drop. Heck yeah. Alright, Bull, let's do your thing. Boundless how I always have an answer. Get us more cards. We need these cards. I do kind. Of, I do kind of wish, like where this game is at. I do kind of wish I had ego in my deck for these eight eights. I'm worried about the eight eights. Hmm. 
so many freaking cards. I guess I don't get to save all these contempts. I can either go put a new bolus into play. Um, the new bolus is probably just blocking. I'm just killing this thing. Before me. Um, I think that yeah, 36 planeswalker or one is guaranteed per pack is. is Certainly, really interesting. I want to see kind of how that how that plays out and everything. Um, that that's something I have good good um, faith in the design team of making a fun limited format with a lot of planeswalkers, and so um, it's exciting. That's game. I certainly need Nicol Bolas. That's game. Hmm. Yeah, so I think, you know, after playing that, you know, both games there, um... For how that played out with what our opponent's doing, I think I do regret not. I, I kept in two campaigns there, um, and I think I do regret keeping in the two campaigns and not having two egos. Um, I think if egoing uh, the eight eight in crisis, um, I feel like would have been a better idea um, than the two campaigns. I, I didn't like the campaigns very much, which is why, you know, I trimmed two, but I didn't really want anything else in the sideboard. Um, how those games played out, I, I do think that I probably want Ego, um, there. It's absolutely better to Ego Guild Summit if they don't have Guild Summit in play. I, I would have certainly, I would 100% Ego Guild Summit if, if I have Ego before Guild Summit. After that Summit's already out there, though, then, then you want to Ego the other things. Um, but yeah, I would have, would have 100% wanted to ego Guild Summit first. Because that's just a card I can't beat. It's just the the amount of cards that that that, that Gates deck gets to play is... Or they, they, they get to draw. The amount of cards they get to draw is really completely obscene. And it just making them discard one card a turn... Um, it's not, it's not going to make up for that really at all. Um, so I think we do need uh, the egos there. Um, but, you know, like that's, it's an okay loss. Um, that's not, not a matchup that is always going to go my way. And we had a good, a good, pretty close game, close-ish, close-ish game. The first game after mulling to five, um, where if our discovery could hit a land drop, maybe we're in it, but. Um, I was still kind of feeling okay of where we were at until the the explosion killed the bolus, of course. Um, that's like I don't know if it's a terrible match for this deck. I mean, so I've only played that matchup twice, and I, I won the other time, so now I'm one and one against it. So you know, it's I wouldn't say it's necessarily terrible. Um, the other time I won two zero. This time we lost. The other time, our opponent didn't have the guild summits uh, right away. Um, last time, like 
one of the like the first game they had a guild summon in hand, but we were able to take it with Thought Erasure. Um, this time, you know, they had the negate for the Thought Erasure, which was really crucial. Um, and the game two last time I had you know early Thief of Sanity. Uh, we saw like that game I didn't, and early Thief of Sanity is kind of nice. Um, you know, like I was like I said, like whenever we had our our uh, second hand was that duress thought erasure negate and thief of sanity were the cards that i wanted the most and we had none of those cards um but we did draw into the thought erasure for turn three but it was unfortunate they had the negate already anyway um yeah so that's grixis discard still real good i mean sure we went three two um but still a real fun deck to, to play are there holes yes there are there are cards that once they resolve are difficult for the deck to deal with absolutely um but that's why we're proactive with our early discard and try to have those cards not resolve and try to have um you know and try to have things line up sometimes they don't sometimes they do but that's magic so um all right so if you're watching this video later on on youtube of course don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there but thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video. All right, okay, you got to move so I can see where to hit the stop recording button over here.